Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be making a lentil meatless loaf. Uh, what you're going to be needing is lentils. You're going to need one cup of lentils. You're going to um, bring it to a boil in two cups of water and let it cook down until the water reduces. Uh, let it cool. Once your lentils are cool, um, you're going to mash them up a little bit. So you're going to need um, green peppers, onions, about a half a green pepper, about a half a half onion. You're gonna need celery, two cloves of two cloves of garlic, liquid smoke, vegan Worcestershire sauce. If you don't have the vegan Worcestershire sauce, you can use soy sauce, um, the same amounts. You're gonna need oregano, Italian seasoning, and smoked paprika, a tablespoon of each. And then on this end, you're going to need. A raw shredded potato, uh, you're going to grate it, one of these little graters. Okay, you're going to need grated carrots, a flax egg, you're going to take two tablespoons of flax meal and four tablespoons of water. Normally it's three tablespoons of water for each tablespoon, but we're only, we want this very thick, so we're going to make it, use just two tablespoons of water for every flax egg. So two, ta two eggs is two tablespoons of flax seeds and four tablespoons of water and you're going to need a cup of old-fashioned oats you don't want the quick oats because the quick oats is really shredded and it won't let it bind so our binder is going to be the flax egg the potato and the oat and the oatmeal then i have a half a t uh, three quarters tablespoon of italian uh, marinara sauce or spaghetti sauce and a quarter cup of barbecue sauce Okay, and here's the lentils that have been cold. Just mash them up. You don't want to over mash them. Just when you when you boil them, drain the water, and once you drain them, um, mash them. This is what it's gonna look like. Okay, so let's get over here sauteing, and I'll show you what we're gonna do. So here we have our pan, nice and hot. A little bit of water. You can use oil. I don't want to use any oil today, so. And your onions, your green peppers, and your celery. This, this doesn't really have to be cooked all the way through. Let's just warm it up. Uh, this is the vegan Worcestershire sauce I'm using. Wizards. That's my favorite. They have a couple brands out there, but by far this is the one I like the most. And it doesn't have 10,000 funky chemicals in it. It doesn't have, it's actually all natural. So, look it up. Great stuff. It comes in two garlic cloves. Like I said, this is this cooks very quick. You're just pretty much heating everything through. So. Cause this is gonna cook in the oven for 45 minutes, so. Like I said, you're not cooking this all the way through, so it's just letting the flavors infuse a little. Add your spices. This is Italian seasoning, a tablespoon, a tablespoon of oregano, and a tablespoon of smoked paprika. This is a simple recipe, you should have everything on hand. And if you can't get the uh, Worcestershire sauce, you just use a uh, soy sauce. Or tamari or liquid coconut aminos or liquid aminos, whatever works for you. Now 
Oh, this already smells good. If you don't want to use the water, just use two tablespoons of olive oil or canola oil or whatever works for you. A tablespoon of liquid smoke. And a tablespoon of vegan Worcestershire sauce. And that's it. Let's go over here and we'll finish this off. This is a one pot meal. <laughs> Put your lentils in there. Turn your oven on to 350. Uh, it's going to cook for 45 minutes to an hour. Until it's really dry. You get a nice crust on the top. Then I have a heavily oiled meatloaf pan. And what I did is I take a piece of wax paper and I put it on the bottom. But that, that makes it turn out very simple. You can flip it out. All you gotta do is just sh sh scrape the sides around it and just, you know, mix everything up very well. Put your carrots. This is uh, one medium potato that's been shredded. Uh, these are your binders. And look at the flax egg. You see how thick it is? It's real gooey. That's what you want. That's also a binder. And I forgot, you need salt. Salt would help, wouldn't it? Just a little bit of salt. Don't get too heavy handed in the salt because you got the Worcestershire sauce and you got the, um, the barbecue sauce and the marinara sauce. You can use any spaghetti sauce you want. Your favorite. How's that? Okay. Your roll your old fashioned oats, not rolled oats, not quick oats, old fashioned oats. And your tomato sauce. So I'm just gonna leave a little bit for the top. Probably a couple of little tablespoons. So mix everything together. Salt. I need a little more salt. And that's it. Doesn't look like much, but when it cooks, it's going to cook up lovely. Okay. Spoon everything to your pan. Spread it out evenly. I know it seems like, a, like this is a little wet, but believe me, this dries, this bakes up really nice. Scratching my tough on hot, hot. Use my little wooden spatch. There we are. Compact everything up. Nice and tight.
potato dry uh, cook in here there like I said it's gonna be a binder and it also absorb some of the liquid don't forget when you cook your lentils strain them you don't want any liquid on there and then take your li little bit of a uh, marinara sauce or barbecue sauce mixed together Smear it on the top And I'm going to be serving this up with some mashed potatoes, a salad, and I'm going to make some gravy. Okay, I'll share my gravy recipe at another time. <laughs> okay, so I'll probably make an onion gravy for this. I think it would be taste very good. But this is what it looks, guy. It looks like it's pretty good, right? So in the oven, 45 minutes for. Uh, 350 degrees, all right? So here we go. And I'll be back to show you what the product looks like, all right? So here we are, we're back. Here's the loaf. Um, I already let it cool like 15 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. Just cut around the edge. Time of the unveiling. This is when everyone gets nervous. Let's cut it around. This is my serving platter, and here it goes, here it goes, yay, and here's your wax paper down here, see, there it is, a lentil loaf, and we got some mashed potatoes, green beans with onions and onion gravy, a nice little romaine salad with arugula from my garden and some croutons, tomatoes, and avocado with a strawberry balsamic dressing. And let me go ahead and cut this little baby for you so you can take a look at it. So, just cut it like a regular loaf. And voila! Here, folks. See how it looks? There's your food form. We are. If you want to put some gravy over it, that's fine. Or however you want to do it. So there it is. That I show you. So thanks for tuning in. From mi casa to casa. Peace. And thanks for tuning in. Take care, everyone. Bye.